हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी दैट ग्राफ ट्रेवर्जर टेक्निक दैट इज बीएफएस एल्गोरिथम एंड द ट्रेवर्जर आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड वन वीडियो बीएफएस ट्रेवर्जर बट इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव नॉट एक्सप्लेन दैट एल्गोरिथम ऑफ द बीएफएस so in this video we'll have that uh, algorithm as well as a traversal technique both so let's start with that uh, bfs algorithm first of all you will see that uh, what are the concept behind the bfs algorithm search for all the vertices that are directly reachable from the root so you can see that you have to start from the source vertex after uh, mark all these vertices visit all the vertices that are directly reachable from any level 1 vertices are level 2 vertices are at any other vertices up to the destination vertex so you can say that you will start from the source vertex you will find all the adjacent vertices from the source vertex so adjacent vertices uh, may be at level number 2 then you have to find out the another adjacent vertices from level number 2 to level number 3 are maybe from level number 3 to level number 4 till you are not finding the destination vertex so in general level k vertices are directly reachable from up to level k minus 1 vertices so that we will reach from the source vertex to the destination vertex bfs having uh, the coloring scheme because whenever you are traversing it will be observed through the color of the particular vertex so white vertex have been have not been discovered that uh, whenever you start traversing so all the vertices are in the beginning in a white color then gray vertices are discovered but not fully explored so as soon as you find out all the adjacent vertices so after finding the adjacent vertices it will become in the gray color so they may be adjacent up to the white vertices then the third one is black vertices are discovered and fully explored so whenever you uh, leave the source vertex that vertex will become black color so they are adjacent only to the black and the gray vertices so we'll explore the vertices by scanning the adjacent list of the gray vertices so in short you can say we are starting with the source vertex then we'll uh, go to all the adjacent vertices which are not discovered after discovering the gray vertices then you have to again find out explore all the adjacent vertices till uh, it is reachable once the vertices are not reachable you have to leave the particular source vertex and whenever you leave the source vertex that will become black color now this process will be repeated till you are not reaching to the destination vertex so let's uh, see that uh, example with the graph with the algorithm also so you'll have this uh, graph right as you have seen that uh, process okay initially we are talking about that source vertex so this is uh, the source vertex as yes, we are talking about the source vertex here right so initially uh, whenever you start the vertex that will be in the white color so you can see that all the vertices here that are s yes, t u v w x and y all the vertices are in white color when you start traversing then it will become in the gray color right so you can see that uh, whenever you are discovering the vertex will become in the gray color okay one more thing when you see that algorithm you have to see that as soon as you are traversing the particular vertex that will be added to the queue here so just you have to use this particular vertex after traversing you have to add in the queue right now the next part is you have to traverse the all the adjacent vertices so from this yes all the adjacent vertices are that r and w here so when you go to the next vertex right 
you are leaving the source vertex here that s is the source vertex that you have to leave so once you find all the edges and vertices this source vertex will become black color as soon as this source vertex will become black color that will be removed from the queue so you can see the next step here all the edges and vertices here that r and w are added to the queue but the source vertex is removed one more thing about the coloring scheme you can see as soon as the vertices are not discovered are in the white color when you start when you discover the vertex will become gray color and when you leave the vertex will be in the black color and when we it will become in the black color will be removed from the queue so we will see uh, that uh, algorithm as well as in parallel right so you can just we'll go back we will see that algorithm here you can see the first line here it is written bfs capital g and the small s here so capital g means uh, graph entire graph it represents the graph s ka matlab hota hai yahan pe source vertex then the first line is uh, the initialization for the particular algorithm so for each vertex u in capital b minus small s here u ka matlab hai yahan pe the vertices belonging to the particular graph v ka matlab hai all the vertices belongs to that particular graph and minus yes so all the vertices except the source vertex here color of u is equal to white because initially you are starting with the source vertex so color of u is equal to white so initially what what the color will be all the vertices will be in the white color d u d matlab hota hai distance so distance of u you can see in the particular graph initially all the vertices are in the having the uh, infinite distance so distance of u that all the vertices having uh, infinite distance p u is equal to nil p matlab hota hai parent parent of u so jo bhi aapka initial vertex hai yahan pe right can you see here s if you start from the source vertex yes this is the initial vertex so initial vertex means there is no any other vertex before this source vertex so parent of this particular vertex will be nil here so this is uh, your initialization part for the algorithm so just uh, you can remember these are the just initialization of the particular graph here for each vertex u in that v minus s right so we are excluding the source vertex then color of u is equal to infinite all the vertices having uh, this uh, in a white color then the distance of all the vertices are having infinite value and the parent of u is equal to n so that we have done right so you can see that initially that this is your initialization part here right here s is the source vertex then all the vertices are having infinite value and that all the vertices are in the white color so this is all about your initialization of this particular graph now we'll go back uh, go to the next step here so color of s equal to gray as you have seen in that algorithm as soon as you traverse the graph will become in the gray color right then the distance of u uh, this the particular vertex u matlab yahan pe abhi s ho jayega so distance of u uh, ds is equal to 0 P S equal to nil and Q is equal to empty because initially uh, there is no any other vertices. So as soon as you discover that will be added to the queue, okay. So you have to add these three. So next two line you can see here: color of S equal to gray, D S equal to zero, P S equal to nil, Q is empty initially. So as soon as you are traversing the vertex, that will be added to the queue here. so here it is written nq nq ka matlab hota hai yahan pe inserting to the queue so qs s kya aapka source vertex hai so that source will be added to the queue here so just remember color of the source vertex will be gray distance of the source vertex is initially is zero parent of the source is equal to nil and q is equal to empty here but as soon as you are traversing that uh, yes will be added to the queue so now you can check this as you have seen this is the beginning of the graph right now 
we'll go to the next step here right as you have seen that uh, the step number one initially q was empty okay so we are traversing this particular source vertex so this source vertex will be having gray color the distance of this particular vertex will become zero so initially that the vertex will be will have zero value and the parent of this particular vertex will be nil so no vertex uh, no parent for this particular vertex this will be added to the queue here you, as you can see in that uh, downside so this is the first step after the initialization now we'll go back and we'll see that the other steps after this till we have seen that uh, we are traversing that the source vertex you'll find out the source vertex color will be gray will be added to the queue right now you'll check that while queue is not empty while queue is not empty u is equal to dq because you are finding the next vertex and after finding the next vertex whenever you leave the previous vertex that is called a source vertex that will be removed from the queue so this is called as dq operation right so for each v which is the adjacent of u and if the color of v is equal to white then the color of v is equal to gray okay so you can check here we are starting with this particular graph we are starting with this particular source vertex now initially it was white it was, now it will become gray will be added to the queue for the next step you have to check all the adjacent vertices for this particular graph you can see that these are the two adjacent vertices r and w so r and w will be added to this particular queue right and again you have seen here that tq operation you have to perform as soon as you are finding the next adjacent vertices right so the source vertex will become black color and as soon as it will become black color will be removed from the queue and the new adjacent vertices will be added to the queue you can check here as you can see here that s was the source vertex right now it will become gray uh, black color so it will be removed from this queue you can check here that there is no source vertex right so all the adjacent vertices which are just uh, newly discovered will be added to the queue one more thing that the the value of r and w because uh, every adjacent vertex will have plus one value that means zero initially it was zero then zero plus one and then zero plus one so this value will be this zero plus one and this zero plus one right and this uh, these are the vertices which are added to the queue here so w and r are added here okay so before going to the next step again we'll go back to the algorithm we'll see that the remaining part here then the color of v is equal to gray as uh, you are discovering the uh, particular vertex all the adjacent vertices so once you find out all the adjacent vertices that vertices will become in the gray color the most important thing is what distance of v is equal to du plus 1 du is that is the source vertex so whatever the value of the source vertex plus 1 and here pb that is the parent of v so whatever is the new vertex so new vertex ka jo parent hoga that will be the previous vertex so we'll go back we will check here and see whatever you are discovering that should be added to the queue so this is the process one by one here okay so you can check here that uh, gray vertex then the adjacent vertices are uh, becoming the gray vertex right the source vertex will become in the black color right and this will be removed one by one so this is uh, the time distance between that the adjacent vertices from the source vertex to the next word adjacent vertices here so 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 right and finally whatever you are doing it right because all the vertices are added to the queue here so nq is means what again you are uh, adding that particular vertex to the queue and color of is equal to black right so this process will be added here and it is written here that dq operation so as soon as it will become black will be removed from the queue this is the process one by one for the entire graph okay so you can see uh, check here that all the adjacent vertices of this double, uh, yes right so now ks is removed we'll go back to the next vertex so, uh, for uh, maybe at, uh, i'm choosing the next vertex as w so w ka jo bhi aapka next vertex hai that tnx right so then tnx will be 
discovered okay and again that color of t and x will become gray and this w will become black and will be removed from the cube you can check here these are the adjacent vertices t and x and are removed from the are uh, added to the cube and this w is removed from the cube you can check here so newly vertex added are that t and x here one more thing the distance uh, of these two vertices right see, see that the initial vertex the value of this vertex was that 1 1 plus 1 it is 2 1 plus 1 is it is 2 right so the this this process will be repeated one by one now we will go back to the next vertex that is r here right so r will become black so it will be removed from the q okay and the new vertex is v which is discovered and will be added to the q so again that the value of this particular vertex will become 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 right we'll go back we will see that the t uh, from t the next vertex is u right so from this the newly vertex is what u is discovered here that u is added to the q and the distance of this particular vertex here 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 okay and then again from this particular vertex right the next vertex is what x we are choosing the next vertex as x so this x will become black okay so x will become black so again it will be removed from the queue and the newly vertex will be added to the queue is that y you can check here so this x is removed from the queue that uh, the remaining vertices are that v u and y so all the vertices which are uh, not in the black color are all are, uh, are present in that uh, queue are this v u and y so you have to uh, make it in the black color you have to go back you have to check that particular vertex because the main uh, aim is uh, for the vfs algorithm is to make the queue empty so we'll go back we will check right so this v will be uh, becoming the black color right and the entire process like uh, whenever you are uh, making it a black it as a black color will be removed from the cube. then the u will become black color so as soon as it will become black color will be removed from the cube and the last vertex which is to be discovered and uh, will be in the black color is that y so finally we'll see that the next vertex is y so that will become in the black color so after uh, discovering all the vertices after making all the vertices in gray color again the last part is that to make all the vertices in the black color and finally you have to remove all the vertices from the queue so this is all about your queue uh, that uh, bfs algorithm and the traversal technique thank you